the Jews bound themselves together and bound themselves under a curse, saying they would neither eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. And, when, and there were more than 40 which had made this conspiracy. Father, we receive grace to stop them. We ask, Lord, that you take all the glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please look at your neighbor and help me say to that person, you can stop them. That person didn't hear you well, say it better. That person did not hear you well, say you can stop them. Please say it better. Turn to three persons by your side. Just help me prophesy to them. You may be seated in his presence. In the scripture here, it says, the night following. That means, sometimes what will happen in the day may start in the night. The night following, the Lord stood by him. And what did he tell him? Paul. Be happy, be of good cheer. What did he not say? You have testified of me in Jerusalem. Certainly, you are going to also testify of me in Rome. So I can look at Jerusalem as his starting point. Then I also look at Rome there as his next level. There are some of you listening to the sound of my voice. Certainly there is a next level ahead of you. So Paul had this revelation hanging on him now. The revelation says you are going to get to Rome. To some of you, the Rome can be your marriage. The Rome can be the job you are trusting God for. The Rome can be the business that you are trusting God for. That Rome can represent the promotion that you want God to enact in your life. And immediately this prophecy came. How they know, I don't know. The Bible said when it was day. One mistake you will always make is for you to think that the enemy only gather in the night. When it was day. The Lord stood by him. Watch it now. How? The Lord himself that gave him that commission, that same God, was able to expose the plot and the plan of the enemy. But let me quickly draw a sharp contrast. Why we God says, you have testified of me in Jerusalem. It means, anywhere you are now, settle down and conquer it. Anywhere you are now, settle down and succeed. Look, look at me here. God will never take you to next level if you don't handle this level properly. I don't know if someone is understanding what I'm saying here. Because there are times we want to beat the gun. There are times we desire, oh, I am single. I want to get married. But let me tell you this here. Have you eaten enough manna so that you can be married? Can I preach here? So, anywhere you are, listen to me. You are not going to do new things in your new level. You are only going to repeat what you've done before. Why we God tell him, Paul, you have testified of me in Jerusalem. He was simply saying, Paul, you have conquered your Jerusalem. Paul, you have succeeded in Jerusalem. Paul, you have done my will in Jerusalem. Now, this same grace, get to Rome. There's someone here today in your next level you will not go back amen. your next level will not reject you amen. somebody shout amen. amen please sit down let me so what you are doing with yourself today matters a lot God is in the business of frustrating the enemy they bound the seven under a curse now watch this now i thought when people are fasting they are fasting to succeed but these people the death of paul is their success 
That's what will give them joy. And so they plotted that they were going to keep Paul. But you know one thing? If God is the one that is taking you to the next level, hear me again. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I don't know what I'm talking to. I say no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hear me. Don't ever think they won't try, but they won't succeed. You know why? Because God that gave you the commission or that vision have you covered. Somebody shout, I will get there. So the Bible tells us here, uh, the night following, stood, God stood by him. Hey, Paul, be of good cheer, be happy. I'm taking you to next level. Paul, you have succeeded as a houseboy. It's time for you to be a master. I Santa. Can I preach here now? Yes, Paul, you have succeeded as a civil servant. It's time for you to be the Ogakpata Pata. Paul, you have succeeded as a single. It's time for you to be married. Are you all getting what I'm... I hope you are getting something out of this. You know, there are times that we are not ready for next level. How do you get ready for next level? Start doing something with this level. Start doing something. Folding your hands. Doing nothing. <laughs> it's one way to fall in. Someone asked me one day, Pastor, how do you succeed? I said, do something. How do you fail? I said, do nothing. Release yourself. Just do nothing. Just stand. If you don't fall, something will make you fall. Are you all hearing me now? Paul! This Rome ahead of you have ordained that you are going to sit with Augustus Caesar who was like the president general of the world. Or the number one citizen of the world as at that time. I'm going to make sure you take the gospel to him. You are going to sit with him one on one. But Paul, the reason is you have succeeded in Jerusalem. Now it's time for you to get there. Hear me, child of God. Always ask yourself, why is it that I'm born again? Why am I in church? Why have I come to church? How come I've not listened to this gospel but now I'm hearing the gospel? Now that I'm in church... Where is my Jerusalem and where is my Rome? But in the name that is above every name, why your amen will turn that more than your neighbor? That your next level, may you actualize it. Amen. Oh, I like that. I say it shall be actualized. I say it shall be realized. I say it shall be realized. Hear me? You see, the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut off but the point is the righteous must do something with where you are hear me if you spend your time crying get ready to cry when you get there are you all hearing me now because is this scripture here where we God just suddenly appeared to him and said to him Paul now when Paul was saying it I don't know how the enemy heard they did say that we kill him until his next level was already on the line. And they all came together. The Bible said there were more than 40 that had this conspiracy. And they said they will not eat or drink until Paul dies. I'm going to quickly pray for someone. Any power that keeps them young in your family. That stop people from lifting up their head. That each time people want to become somebody, they cut them off. Why my knee hits this altar and your amen thunders, I declare we cut them off. Amen. Jesus, I say we cut them off. I say we cut them off. I say we cut them off. What kill your father will not kill you. What kill your mother will not kill you. What stop others will not stop you. He may have stopped all that. It will not stop you. I say it shall not stop you. Get ready to rise again. Get ready to shine again. Get ready to shine again. Get ready to rise again. You will get there. Hey, hey, hey. You will get there. I say you will get there. Lift up your hand and shout at them like thunder. Sakayaba. Let me tell you this here. If God is responsible for your next level, your next level cannot be aborted. God will certainly see you through. How many are the afflictions 
of the righteous. One mistake you will make is that I'm righteous, but why am I facing affliction? In the scripture there, it says many are the afflictions of the righteous. But it says, but the Lord, what? Deliver them from them all. Hear me. The strength of a tea bag is not in the packet. It is in hot water. Pull it out of the packet. Throw it in bucket of hot water. It takes over the color. I lift up my hands. In the name of what you are going through now, may he help you to take over. That situation may be hot, but you are taking over. 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 Anywhere you are hearing me from, you are taking over. Hear me? Please sit down. Sit, 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 sit. 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 Let me help you with this. Now, are you still with me in church? I want you to know that I want you to know that God will not permit your enemies to rejoice over you. Many are the afflictions of the... I had a testimony that made me to jump in my office today Why I was in the verge of preparing for my television um, recording. I began to speak in tongue. I began to jump. Wow. Ah. My pastor, he called, he said, sir, something just happened. I said, what happened? He said, sir, a member here gave two of them many testimonies, but let me give just only these two. He said, he said, a woman, a, a lady, their member there, have a sister or somewhere who is pregnant for five years. I mean, five years pregnancy. This is look somehow you want to ask is it possible yes in a wicked world like nigeria they post the thing there five years pregnancy he said why i was praying the sister called the sister right there in the place where they are and he said are you aware that my pastor is free he said yes facebook he said i'm not on facebook he said okay, no problem this lady loaded card and sent to her and said, position the thing everywhere, just close to the speaker. So everything I was saying, the lady was there shouting, Amen, Amen, Amen. He said, as the day was about to break, everything. She said, it get as it do me. It get as it do me. Before you know it, they rush out to the hospital. He said, they rush out to the hospital. He said, as I'm talking now, she gave birth. Oh, you want to hear part two? That's for that. Another person gave a testimony. He said, this brother came to all night. He said, for years, this is the problem he goes through. For years. He said, each time he comes out of his house or his room, his domot everywhere will be smelling of urine. Urine. Right in his domot. He will be, who is doing this thing? He has tried all. Laid ambush whether he will catch the person in the night. No way. Tried all to catch the person. No way. He said, after the all night after the all night as he was stepping into the house who did this see landlady <laughs> mama what are you doing mama began to beg please please i beg don't tell anybody don't tell anybody i will tell i will tell no i beg he said don't worry even two years i not go not pay me for the house the young man now two years rebates make enough he talk i say if not me i will ask for 12 years Lift up your hand, let me pray for you. Makatayaba satayaba. In the name that is above every name, any power that wakes up in the night to desecrate in order to stop and to reduce you from today, they are going down. Makatayaba rakata kaba satayaba. I said they are going down. I said they are going down. I said they are going down. Wicked world. A woman pregnant for five, five years? Five years? They may have said, let me see how you go deliver. Hear me? When a higher power meets a lesser power, the lesser power must bow. 
we didn't gather ourselves to say war against satanic manipulation for nothing because there is a god in heaven who presides over the affairs of men if there's a man to pray there is a god who will surely answer somebody said one day what god cannot do does not exist i lift up my hand in a name that is above every name your testimony here will be the next by the power in the communion we are about to take today you are overcoming them you are breaking them down you are breaking them down get ready to rise again get ready to rise again get ready to rise again look at me all of you connect yourself back to your maker listen to me church is not a hospital where you go when you are sick then when you are where you return stay in god's house in one of the message i preached today was in psalm 23 i don't have time to go into it but i can tell you the conclusion he said uh, surely goodness and mercies all the days of my life and now we do it i like them to put it on surely everyone say surely, surely. it's not a guesswork um, it's not a suggestion Ah, it's not a suggestion for anyone and when God says surely surely means surely uh, it means he's so sure that he's sure that he's so sure that he's 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 sure that your new name is sure and he said surely goodness and shall what now listen to me the reason for this scripture is that if you don't know what is following you you will not be able to manifest what is following you will determine your confession the fact that you are failing does not mean failure is following you are you hearing me now failure wants you to believe that god is not following you that goodness is not following you so you're not saying now wow this problem when they worry me so i don't understand uh, the, uh, goodness i may say well you say no problem they follow you they step aside now listen to me that's the reason why we come to church now hear me now goodness and message are what all the days there's one and I like he said, and I will dwell. Kabaya kata. Are we what? I am not visiting. Are we what? I'm not visiting church. What am I doing? Am I visiting church? What am I doing? What am I doing? In order to maintain the goodness and mercy, I have to be a dweller. I close here. Lift up your hands. I didn't come to preach long message. I believe you've got it. in order for me to maintain it i have to be a dweller i have to I, I don't take it to run away are you hearing me now because it goes further he said uh, that my cup run it it runs over in order there's an overflowing blessings there's an overflowing blessing the blessing is coming although not cup level not the container level yet but at least you see the road flow you see the overflow am i communicating here but the reason why it will get to container level is because i am a dweller because cup is not enough to feed nations i don't like that song that says feed my cup lord how many people can cup feed i change my song i always say feed my container lord you know why cup was good those days today there are nations that we must reach out to through prosperity shall my kingdom be spread abroad and cup level cannot get we can't even feed only you lift up your hand make i pray for you matuka leba kasete in the name that is above every name as we partake in this communion tonight whatever has caged you receive grace for cages whatever has stopped you receive grace to stop it you are about to sing a new song you are about to dance again you are about to rise again you are about to rise again you are about to rise again give somebody a high five say i am a dweller i am not a visitor in god's house i didn't come to visit i came to dwell i am a dweller i am not a visitor i am a dweller do i have dwellers in the house how do i become a dweller locate what you are doing because if you are dwelling and you are not doing anything to be boring <laughs> that's part two that's part two that's part two i stop here if you are dwelling and you are not doing anything it will be boring do something while dwelling that's what paul did he did something in his jerusalem jerusalem speaks for the church 
he did something he succeeded and god said get ready to get to rome praise god so do something some of you get ready even if it's to clean the church you are doing something but you can't just come and start cleaning we pursue you you have to be taught on how to clean it get ready to play instrument get ready to sing get ready to do one thing get ready to carry camera get ready just get ready whatever get ready get ready while you are dwelling locate what you are doing because if you are not doing anything it will be very boring am i communicating here because if spectators don't win prize yes yeah, spectators may get one or two they get their phone they get the other but it gets to a level when the time reaches to give the gold medal and the trophies they are still there clapping for others while other one pop, pop champagne and pour into on excess spectators are still there clapping my hands are lifted i don't know about you in the name that is above every name receive grace for next level Amen. what god started with you now from today shall get better Amen. with such awesome testimonies we are hearing i heard again come here i have never been to church before never have i been to church See, i hate churches i don't go i don't go they invite me i don't go but i don't know how i came here now coming here today i know there is god i said wow this is good i didn't know she had part two in her mouth and why did she say there is god her brother that disappeared five years ago five years ago she was in church while i was praying four rounds she went out it was the same brother who is calling and you say god not there who said god not there war against satanic manipulations lift up your hands where you are whatever has kept you back in the name of jesus we command that thing to back out we command it to back out i say let it 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 back out it's time to go forward it's time to take over it's time to take over i say you are taking over i say you are taking over they plotted to keep paul but the scripture we are saying says for they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the words of their testimony so when you take that cup in your hands lift it up and tell that problem sorry christ already paid for this problem long time and the last thing he said on the cross is it is finished and whatever is finished on that cross satan you can't start it again in my life because affliction will not arise the second time i don't serve a dead god i serve a living god he's the same yesterday today and forever lift your two hands up may victory be your portion what god has said started let it get better i cancel death from your life we return death back to sender i cancel failure from your life we return failure back to sender you are not going down you are not going down you are going higher hear me Paul. you conquer jerusalem get ready to get to rome whatever your room is whatever that level is your business that aspiration your promotion whatever it is it could be the thing you want to build the house you have you have succeeded as a tenant now it's time to be a landlord i lift up my hand in the name that is above every name may your expectation not be cut short Amen. we declare help Amen. a quick help Amen. a quick help from above Amen. hear me again you will not face marital shame Amen. those who saw you wedded they heard you danced and they are waiting for you to come back and tell them it's not working they will wait in vain psalm 2 why do they hate this range and the people imagine a vain thing whoever is seeing you imagining a vain thing and see you and your husband your wife you are happy but they wish that the person is beating you my hand is lifted whatever they wish you may it return to sender may it return to sender your marriage will not break your marriage will not break your children will not die your husband will not die your wife will not die where you cross you will not return when you go forward you will not go backward 
keep going forward keep making progress as they go forward as they go forward as they go forward as they go forward lift your hands up and give him thanks i believe something has happened here Makataya Barabaseke. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Can you bring out? Lord, we give you praise.